Hello everybody, uh, back again with another how to draw tutorial live stream. Uh, the live stream, uh, or I should say, okay, so uh, I'm just gonna, uh, we're gonna be drawing red from the Angry Birds movie. Uh, so the first thing I did is I did, I started with a circle and then made like a sausage like body. did a plus here so that I would know where the face is drew little arms on the side and then add a little feet here let's see if you see it, okay you do Okay, and then just gonna add the little feather here. It's got like that. Okay, so he's got like two bits of feathers here. Okay, just gonna add the little little bit of. Hairy likeness, feather texture here. Straining out these here, these feet. Okay, so using the plus that I made earlier, I'm gonna make a make the eyes here. I'm gonna start with two circles with a small gap in between. I'm gonna give his little eyebrows or. These, oh wait, do a line here. This will help me figure out um, the uh, top of his eyelids and also where the eyebrows are uh, going to be placed. Ooh, he's got super thick eyebrows. You know, this reminds me of that joke, um, if you ever watched the series Fooly Cooly, where there was a character who had, like, thick eyebrows, but they were actually fake. <laughs> so Red is always angry. And have the eyes sort of facing in your direction okay and I sort of made like a little another tiny plus to, to help me um, get a general idea about how big I'm going to make the beak It seems to be right underneath where his mouth would be, his 
underbeak seems to be shorter, shortened. Give a little nostrils here. It doesn't have to be there, but um, it adds, I, I just felt like adding it. Okay, now to add like the belly, uh, belly hair. No, it's not hair. It's feathers. Belly feather. Okay, and then we're gonna, and then you're gonna have a little bit of, um, it's, it's like, um, uh, shadows under his eyes that he seems to be, have, yeah, be given. Okay. Maybe make the maybe make the eyes a little bigger so that they give space for the pupils. Ooh, that does not look good. Gonna have a shine here. Gonna fix his eyebrows a little bit, make them more, more angrier. Hmm. He's definitely got a couple of spots here and there, uh, similar to, uh, um, Terrence, the big guy that grunts all the time. But it doesn't see him as, uh, all over the place, so maybe we just place it some here and there. Okay, and with that, we can uh, get started on inking. Okay, and get started on the feather. And remember the jagged lines are starting from here, the center of where his feather is, or the top of his head. And just slowly jagged, uh, jagged zigzag lines all over.
Okay, good, you can see. Three toes, and then one back. Now we're gonna work on the beak. And the eyes. Alright, with that, I'll start using the thin tip sharpie to, uh, to get started with the finer details. I might curve some of these circles out. Filling it in. And then in a circular fashion going around the pupil of the eye to create um, the iris. Okay. Then I'm gonna thicken out the eyebrows. Gonna think it out these uh, uh, his eyebrows a little bit. I don't want it to be like pure black. Sometimes reversing the direction also helps. Okay, yeah, these are nice, good, thick eyebrows. Thick and texture eyebrows. Okay. I had to do it a little fur here. It's on his belly.
Okay. Now we're going to do the feet details. Little ball here for, uh, for like where the, the bird nail comes out. Little lines here. Okay, and we're just going to give minor details to the feathers here because they're not dark black in the reference image that I'm using. Okay, and with that we can do the, the little hair details, starting from the center of where the feather starts. Going to circulate that, then we're going to go a little bit here, a little bit there, a few lines here and there. I'm deciding to add a little bit of like this um, hair texture that is going to circulate all around like just the outer portions similar to how I would be drawing tones with or cross hatching to help show a bit of shadow it seems to have enough same similar effect if you draw like these little hair lines close to the edge using two or three lines just doing the out, um, outer 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 line outer portions of the um, of the character that has feathers or hair it seems to do the same effect if, you, if the character has hair as well Okay, and then continuing to the other side. But I'm keeping in mind to uh, stay consistent with the direction that the feathers are coming from, because remember, this is still the focal point, and everything else sort of just curves around, curves around in this direction, and then over here it curves in this direction. I'm deciding to add a little bit more thicker side, um, thicker, since this seems to be like a bit of an empty space. I'm trying to see how this would look if the hairs on this side was a little bit thicker, um, more showy on this side. There's going to be still some hairs here and there.
Maybe just gonna fix a little bit here and there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of detail here to put like the shadows under his eyes, but I'm gonna make it seem kind of fur-like, hairy, no, I'm saying it wrong, feather-like, similar to the same details that I did around his body. We're just gonna see how this looks. Gonna add a little bit of the similar detail, but a little bit less because it's its stomach. I just noticed how like some of his feathers are doing like a bit of a U shape. So I might curve some of these feather textures. Okay, and now we're just going to erase. Hmm. Ah, yes. We got the blue line here. Yes, that makes a bit of difference. Hmm. You know, it almost looks like he's got a weird mouth um, without this little line. Maybe I'll add something here. There we go. I'm gonna see how it looks if I did not add these. I might delete um, later in Photoshop. Delete this little nostril thing. See how it looks because it almost it almost looks like a weird <laughs> uh, a human mouth then a bird mouth somehow. Okay. So if you so remember, um, remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe uh, for more uh, how to draw tutorials. 
Um, check the link in the description for a link to the uh, for a link to like uh, my Twitter and my Tumblr. Um, if you enjoy my drawing style, feel free to check out uh, my comic available on Amazon. Get get just, you know feel free to get you know if this um, if it's something worth. Uh, with your time getting, feel free to, you know, you know, that'd be great. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look forward to more Angry Birds, uh, tutorials. Um, so, see you next time. Bye.